Hey guys, uh, Darren here. Quick update on my Forerunner. You see anything new? Yeah, those uh, traction boards. Pretty bright, eh? Um, yeah, I got these at my uh, local tool town. There's only like one location in Winnipeg. And yeah, these were like the last ones, so I got lucky. I wanted orange or red on my forerunner because it's color blue and the green one kind of pops a lot but it's fine um the first day of driving it it got a lot of attention and pretty cool but like i'm like uh i want to be low-key a little but you know that's what you get for modding your truck but yeah this is what it looks like on the lfd crossbars because the because the LFD crossbars, they come with the T-slots and then you just, yeah, I, these are DIY. Like these are my own locking nuts that I made. And then back there, it locks over there. It's not going anywhere. But yeah, I put up what this washer nut from Home Depot. And then I just put another nut right here just in case so it doesn't fly off in the highway. And then this bolt is 5 16 Oh yeah, I forgot that. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it, but there's another washer underneath here. So I can screw down. Because these T, because these T slots are pretty wide for these 5 16 Yeah, you can see it a little bit more blue, but you know, it's, it is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, this is what it looks like on the truck. Pretty mean, eh? back it up a little oh yeah and then from the side oh yeah it looks mean as hell probably use it uh this sunday when i go to sedans the trail that i'm going to is called sedans it's like mostly sand oh yeah i gotta change this to green match it with this but then the like the ones I find, they don't have this lock that I want, the shackle. This is what it looks like in the back. And I'll, sh I'll go show you the, the box that I came with, or wrapping stuff, whatever it's called. Yeah, it's from Explorer 4x4 Accessory Recovery Plate. Or should I say, Explorer Off-Road Gear. Yeah, uh, this was like 70 bucks, not bad, compared to freaking, um, what do you call that, Max Tracks, $200, or like, I don't know, I think it's like 300 bucks for Max Tracks, but that's like USD and I'm from Canada, so probably around $400 for traction ports, not bad for $70, dude. Um, oh yeah, next mod would probably be um well it's on the way it's um we got this it's a shovel slash axe mount where the um, the lock would be right here and then my shovel or axe would be on the side here or i would put it vertically over there instead of like this way but I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna work. But it's on the way. It's from Amazon. I think it's like 25 bucks. So yeah, it's coming along. And I hope you guys uh, continue to like and you know, kind of subscribe. So it keeps me motivated to do more videos like this. And yeah, um, follow my Instagram page. It's called the Nautical Blue, or no, it's the nautical forerunner you won't miss it it's like has like around 70 followers so please share that instagram page also all right i think that's it um see you guys soon all right please like and subscribe peace